It's super sleek and super fast and under development in Britain. The A2, a hypersonic passenger plane that may one day whisk you from London to Sydney at five times the speed of sound in under five hours. Well, hypersonic means, uh, in this case, Mach 5, which is sort of two and a half times the speed of Concorde. And obviously the incentive of going faster is that uh, your journey time is shorter. So in the case of this aeroplane, it's designed to fly halfway around the world, for example, from uh, Europe to Australia, and it can do that trip in sort of four and a half hours, whereas the existing uh, aeroplanes can take you there in 22 hours. And design engineer Richard Vargas says that's without a stopover for refueling. The A2 may also end up taking some of the guilt out of long-haul travel. It'll hold 300 passengers and run on eco-friendlier liquid hydrogen. I'm hesitant to say it's a completely green aeroplane. It has the advantage that it uh, releases no CO2 when you burn the liquid hydrogen fuel. Um, but the uh, anxiety with it is it flies at very high altitudes, actually in the ozone layer, uh, which is needed to uh, intercept ultraviolet radiation from the sun. And... Uh, the concern that we've got is that an aeroplane flying at this altitude may damage the ozone layer. We're not sure yet. Ever since the Anglo-French marvel that was the supersonic Concorde took its last flight in 2003, aviation engineers have been mostly dreaming of a faster commercial jet. While major plane makers have focused on building bigger, the A2 is seen as natural successor to Concorde in the speed stakes, Mach 5 from Mach 2. The design team's best guess is the A2 will be ready to make those hypersonic day trips between Australasia and Europe in about 25 years. Susan Flory, Reuters.